Welcome back. Google unveiling long-awaited new details about its large language model, Gemini, not to be confused with the crypto Gemini, ramping up the race against rivals like Microsoft and OpenAI. Deirdre Bosa has the story for today's Tech Check. D. Hey, John. So rather than tell you how Gemini works, I thought it would be better to just show our audience. Have a look. See pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? You get the idea. This is Google's next iteration of generative AI. Gemini is multimodal, which means that it recognizes not just text, but images and sounds and video as well. And that's what helped build this model as well. Now, it's also a version that OpenAI has already been offering for months, though Google says theirs is more powerful than any other AI system currently on the market. Six months ago, Google's announcement, guys, might have moved the stock. Today, it hasn't done much. Even at Barclays TMT Summit down the street here in San Francisco, attendees were more focused focused on AI applications and the latest advancements. I asked Barclays Global Head of Tech Investment Bank, Kristen Roth de Clark, if Gemini was generating buzz. Here's what she said. So far, I think the biggest, the biggest topic at our conference so far this morning has been on what are the applications of AI and what's the real investable uh, you know, I impact. It's the two biggest things that we're hearing are where does AI really drive efficiencies and where does AI drive an acceleration and in innovation? And that's true across not just technology companies, but how it's impacting everything from in every vertical, healthcare, education, you name it. And that really stands in contrast to earlier this year. I was at Google I.O. when they announced Search Labs, which wasn't even launched yet, but just the idea that search could encapsulate so much more, that sent Google shares up some 4%. And guys, I heard your conversation with Christine at the, at the start of the show, at the top of the hour, around AMD's announcements and its massive step up in TAM, total addressable market. Again, the, ALO, the AI halo effect, that might have given the stock a bump earlier in the year, but it could also be telling us now that in 2024, next year, investors are going to be looking for more in their AI announcements, and it's going to take more to move the stocks of these companies. Yeah, there's a lot built in. I mean, uh, Alphabet, Google stock up almost 50 percent since the start of the year. It was, uh, you know, around 90 and now it's 130. Uh, I wonder how much Google is talking about the ecosystem around these models. So much of what AMD yeah. and well, especially NVIDIA has been saying lately is these partnerships, right, that are building uh, buzz and economic activity around their technology. Right. And you'll notice that every sort of AI announcement from the hyperscalers this year has included Jensen Huang, right, of NVIDIA. They've had him sort of on hand. And that's no different from Google earlier this year. This time, certainly a nod to the ecosystem. They talked a lot about their TPU chips, which Google is developing as sort of this alternative to the NVIDIA ones. Um, so in terms of that ecosystem, they're all trying to do something similar, and that is work with the different layers of generative AI. So today wasn't any different. All right, Deirdre, thank you very much.